Hey, what's up everyone? So in this video, I'll be reviewing this desk. Now, you might be thinking, wow, Peyton, really another desk review? Uh, this one's actually pretty special. This one is actually electrically operated, so you, you can adjust the height just with the press of a button. So let me go ahead and demonstrate it just real quick. So as you can see, I'm just at like, you know, a sitting height. Uh, everything feels really good. But let's say I want to stand up for a little bit. I press one button and the desk will rise up and then I can stand and use the desk then. So let me tell you a little bit about this desk. So it's made by FlexiSpot, which uh, they're pretty well known. Uh, they're known for just their height adjustable desks. Uh, and I don't know if you remember, but way back in the day, I did a review of a monitor like arm. So you can mount the, you know, your monitor, your computer monitor on this arm, and then the arm connects to your desk, and then you can move the monitor around, and it's like it's floating and everything. Really cool. They also make desks like this that can rise up and go down. Uh, for, you know, if you want to stand during the day, you know, it's a lot better on your back, a lot better on just your posture in general. Uh, and they make them wide enough so that, for example, with this one, the, the space in between the feet on the base uh, is like 34 inches or something or around that, which you could place a treadmill underneath your desk and you can actually be, you know, walking throughout the day or, you know, there's plenty of room for like an elliptical or not an elliptical, like a bike, uh, some kind of you know, exercise utility that you can use while you're actually, you know, at work on your computer where typically you wouldn't get that exercise and, you know, have that good posture. So FlexiSpy, they sent over this desk. Uh, this is one of their, I believe, three electrically powered, uh, you know, height adjustable desks. So there's this one, um, which is the two-stage model. It's just, uh, you know, a rectangular desk, huge space. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, and you know, it's electrically operated, but then they have a second model that's, you know, three stage instead of two stage. So, so what that means is in the legs, there's, well, this one has two stages. So there's two different kind of parts of the legs connected to each other. Uh, as you can see from this little clip here, this is where they connect. Uh, the other one has three. So it gives it, you know, another inch or two of flexibility of height adjustment. But generally speaking, I think, you know, the two stage would be fine for a lot of people, but if you need a lot more uh, or I guess just a little more adjustability, the three stage might be a little bit better. But there is also one other option and that's an L-shaped desk. So basically everything that you see here, except it's in the shape of an L, you, you have a lot more desk space and um, you know, it's still really cool with its you know, electrically powered uh, height adjustability. So when I first got it, I was delivered via FedEx in two pieces. So you have the pieces of all the hardware and then you have just basically like the desktop area. The box with the hardware was actually probably heavier than the actual desktop. Uh, and that is because the hardware is actually like super heavy. Like it's really well made. Uh, it feels super sturdy when it's all assembled and everything. But it's like you pick up just one leg and you're like, holy cow, I need to start working out. This thing is built like a tank. Uh, I was very impressed by the build quality. You know, you have to assemble it, yes, uh, but all it is is just some screws. The assembly process itself is very straightforward. Uh, you basically just connect the two legs. You uh, kind of wire up the motor uh, and then just slap the desktop part on and you're pretty much good to go. It comes with all the tools you need. Uh, it has, you know, a couple different, or just one wrench and then like the little... I don't know what they're called. Here's a little clip of them. Uh, but these are all the tools that you need and it's super easy to assemble. You don't need to have a you know a degree in engineering or anything to put this thing together. Uh, really anyone, if you want to get into the electrically powered height adjustable desks, this is very easy to set up and really anyone can do it. So the total assembly time took me and my dad about 45 minutes. Uh, you know, a lot of it was just getting things out of the package and seeing where that goes. Uh, you know, just a few screws here and there and it's, it's all set up. So now that it's all set up, what do I think of it? Well, right off the bat, it's like, wow, this thing is super cool. Uh, and that's basically how my thought process has been ever since I got it. Uh, I haven't seen one really major drawback to this desk. Um, there's a couple different things that I think that could be improved upon, but overall, this is pretty cool. So the desk itself is massive, as you can see right here. I can easily fit, you know, a 27-inch iMac on it. I have my 15-inch MacBook Pro. I have uh, an iPad Pro here, and I still have space to put, you know, papers, uh, utensils, basically any other thing that I need. It's a really good-sized desk, and I think a lot of people, if you're sitting at a desk already that's, 
you know, just a normal size, this is probably going to blend right in pretty well. Now, of course, I'll have a link in the description where you can go and check out this desk as well as the L-shaped desk in case you need more space. Uh, and then you can go and check all of the dimensions to make sure that, you know, it can fit all of your stuff on here that you would need. Um, let's go and talk about what it all can hold as far as weight goes. So of course it's electrically operated, so how much weight can it hold and actually push up at once? Well, on their website it says 220 pounds or 200, I think it's 220. Either way, that's a lot of weight. Uh, I was able to lay down on this thing and it would still go from 28 inches to 47 inches without any problems. Uh, and same with the way back down, no issues, no mechanical issues. It worked really well and for the most part I would probably you know have a safe bet saying that no matter what computer you have on here you would probably be good uh, with its weight. So to control the height adjustment and everything of course it's electrically operated so there's a little control panel on the left side. I mean it doesn't have to be on the left side you could put it on the right side if you want. There's pre-drilled holes over here as well uh, if you want to have it on the right hand side. Uh, we just chose the left hand side just because that's how the picture showed so we didn't really want to mess anything up. Anyway, uh, the controls are very simple. Basically, there's a little kind of screen that shows you how many inches from the ground to the bottom of the tabletop that there is. Um, so right now, for example, I'm sitting at 43.9 inches. So that's from the base of the ground to the bottom of this desk right here. Uh, and this desk is probably exactly one inch, I would guess. Um, so, you know, add another inch and that's how much, that's how high up your stuff is going to be. Um, but anyway, it goes from 28 inches to 47, 47.6 or something like that. Either way, 47, we'll just go with that. Uh, and you can manually control it. There's two up and down arrows. It's kind of hard to get exactly the measurement that you want. Um, just because when you let go, it's still, the motor's still going just a little bit. Uh, it goes like two tenths of an inch um, after you release the button. Um, but there's manual controls for up and down. And there's also presets. So you can have up to three different presets. Mine, uh, I preset it myself. The first one, number one, is all the way as far down as I can go at 28 inches. Um, number three is as high up as I can go uh, at 47. And then the second one is just kind of, you know, in between, whatever kind of works. Um, and yeah, so you use the M button on there to set those manual presets. Uh, and then you also have an A button, which this is kind of cool. You can actually set the A button to be like a timer. So let's say every half hour you want to, you know, it to notify you to stand up and use your computer that way uh, from a standing position. So you just press the A button, you choose 30 minutes or however long you want. Uh, and then after 30 minutes, it's basically just a countdown timer and it'll beep at you. And then you can, you know, choose to raise and lower the desk or whatever. Uh, it doesn't automatically raise and lower after that certain amount of time. So if you want it to raise after 30 minutes, uh, once the 30 minutes is up, you have to manually press a button to raise it. It's not going to automatically do it on its own. Probably for safety reasons, like it doesn't want to automatically do something without you knowing about it. Um, so I guess that's probably a good thing. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty cool that it has a little timer built into it. But I don't think, personally, I'm not going to use it that much. Now I do have one small issue with the little control panel here and that the buttons aren't the easiest to hold down. Um, I mean, if you're just pressing like a preset button, you know, pressing it once and leaving it is easy, fine, doesn't cause any problems, but holding it down can be kind of difficult. You really have to press hard um, because they are just so sensitive that, you know, even if you lift off just the slightest bit of pressure, uh, it's not going to catch that and then the desk will just stop moving. So, you know, I wish the buttons were a little bit different, maybe a little more clicky. Um, but other than that, the control panel works well, made out of plastic, doesn't really need to be anything fancy. Um, yeah, it works well, does what it needs to do, um, just the buttons are a little bit kind of difficult. So one of the other things that really impressed me about this motor is just how quiet it is. So here's a little clip of the desk going up. And then the desk going down is pretty much just as quiet. So yeah, it's very quiet. Uh, you don't, you won't have any issues if this is in like an office space, even if there's like just cubicles between you and the other person, 
this desk is quiet. It's not going to cause any problems. You can use it in the middle of the night in your house uh, and it won't wake up anyone. It's very quiet. But other than that, it's really hard to you know find something that I don't like about this. Uh, one of the things I guess, okay, so this it really isn't you know uh, an issue from FlexiSpot. It's just kind of like a in my use case, I wish this would have had this, but uh, it, it has no kind of cable management. Um, there's no cable management for you know even the power cable going for the motor. Uh, there's no kind of clips or anything for your computer or anything like that. Um, you know, it, it's not very expensive to just go out and buy some clips or just figure something out yourself, but you know, it would have been nice if that was included, but given the price point, I think I can forgive that. Uh, this desk is a lot cheaper than a lot of other uh, motorized, height adjustable desks out on the market, and for that reason, I can easily recommend this desk. I mean, it, it's, it's just as good as all the others for a lot cheaper of the price. So like I said before, this desk comes in three different versions. So you have the two stage, which is what this is, uh, and this starts at $400. Uh, and then there's the three stage, which is more expensive, and then the L-shaped, which is, of course, more expensive than that. Um, from all of them, I think you have the same options as far as configurations go. So you don't have to get the black top uh, and gray legs that I have. Um, you can get like a, well, the, the legs, as far as the legs, I think you can get black, white, and gray, so I have the gray. Uh, black and white would look pretty cool, especially with this black top. Uh, and then you also have, instead of this black top, if you don't want this, you can have like a lighter grain of wood. Uh, it looks really good in my opinion. Um, you know, I think the black looks good, but that, that lighter grain probably would have looked pretty good too. Um, the, this black top, I was a little afraid of it getting dirty easily. Uh, a lot of these black tops, especially you know, on a desk where you're resting your hands a lot, they attract fingerprints pretty quickly. Uh, and it's not like fingerprints, it's more of like a whole palm kind of print. Uh, just like the sweat and grease on your hands will, you know, eventually just get on the surface of the desk. Um, luckily, it's pretty resistant to that. Uh, I would like to see, you know, how this holds up over time, but I'm thinking I'll probably need to be cleaning it a little bit. Um, but, you know, generally speaking, it looks pretty good even without, you know, going full-blown cleaning the whole thing. But uh, yeah, so this is the FlexiSpot uh, height adjustable desk. It's electrically powered. It's probably one of the best values on the market as far as desks like this go. So if you guys have any questions or want to check out this desk, this FlexiSpot desk, I'll have a link in the video description uh, to go and check out their website. If you have any specific questions about you know my use so far with this desk, go and leave them in the comments section down below. I'll try to help out. Um, but yeah, you know, I, I wish I had another one of these, but yeah, I really like this desk. This thing's awesome. Uh, and I think you're going to be really impressed too.